All right, I got some goodies in the mail. Got here my, I ordered a 35 chain clutch that I will be sending back and not using. I also ordered a deluxe 35 chain breaker. And a 35 chain. But I won't be using them because the sprocket I have for my go kart is a 420 sprocket. So I will be sending these back and ordering the 420 chain, chain breaker, and clutch. But let's take a look at these anyways looks pretty good comes with two of these little allen bolts to lock it on the shaft from keep moving from left and right and this chain breaker If I can get out of this bag. Alright. Pretty nice. You got the side where you can push your chain out. And then using that same pin, you can rejoin your chain if you don't want to use a master link. And this chain comes in a Ziploc bag, sealed in another bag. All these things got shipped out pretty quickly. And progress on the go-kart. Taking paint off is still taking some time. I got about half of it done. Or less. I still need to chop and re-weld the seat mounts, move it back two and a half inches, or maybe even move the motor back so I can move the seat back a little bit farther. The rims that got powder coated. And then recently I just went to go exchange my Predator engine <coughs> for the 60363 model with the Hemi head. There was also another difference that I saw with the other model. I forgot what item number it was, but the one with the stamped um, valve cover. Um... The maximum RPM on that motor was 3,800 RPMs on the maximum, but everything else looked the same, all the torque suspects and whatnot, but of course we all know the heavy head has different internals on the head, but maybe we can find someone to get the other motor and we can compare them to side by side in a road test also working on this little 110 cc geo ATV rebuilt the carb um, and board out the jet this thing hauls ass now I can pop wheelies and I've just learned how to ride on the side and two wheels wheelies I'm still learning them but just fixing up for this for a friend but I think I want one myself when I can afford one but this go car will do for now. This is all I can afford. Got the frame for free. Gonna get it powder coated. 
luckily I have a friend that has a shop that has an oven that he'll let me use so that will cut some cost <coughs> I want to put a torque converter on here but I don't think it's gonna fit with the wheel and how the sprocket's gonna be on a single wheel so that's gonna have to wait until I get some money and I'm able to swap this onto a live axle with disc brakes and all probably extend this cart gonna borrow a welder from a buddy see how I do with that well that's all for this video tune in for the next one